I want to bring in Amy Allison, founder and president of She the People, and Lauren Leader, co-founder and CEO of All In Together, two groups that uh, fight to elevate women's voices in politics. Good to have both of you. Lauren, according to the Washington Post, uh, the Biden campaign plans to deploy the senator especially to swing states, to connect with black voters, young activists, suburban women, groups whose uh, support for Biden is solid, but, but far from guaranteed. How effective is she going to be with connecting with those, those key voting blocks? Right, well, and the turnout is going to be so critical. All in Together did polls just a month or so ago looking at the likelihood of women voters to turn out because, of course, as Amy said, they're so essential to the Democratic win. They are the majority of the electorate and women of color especially. We definitely saw some signs of concern among Latina voters. You know, women of color are also facing some pretty unprecedented challenges. This is a she session. The economic reality of COVID has fallen squarely on women, really, across demographic groups. And it's really at a critical time that women turn out. We find that, you know, huge majorities of women, white women as well as women of color, are very motivated to vote in the fall. But that get out the vote effort, first of all, it's going to be, as you've been reporting, the challenges this year for just getting your vote to count will be enormous. And so the grassroots work uh, that organizations like mine and Amy's have been doing, what the campaign is now going to need to do to actually mobilize people, help them understand how they're going to vote effectively in this election is going to be everything. Lauren, really quickly, I want to go back to something you just said in terms of, of your organization's get out the vote effort specifically. What are you doing differently? I mean, obviously, you don't have folks knocking on doors uh, this right. cycle. So how, how are you going to get people to the polls? You know, I'm so glad you asked that. It's education, education, education. The fact is, this is a very difficult landscape for voters to navigate because every single state has different rules. Every single state has uh, different uh, oper you know, different uh, structures around absentee ballot and mail-in ballot. Every state has different rules about early voting. Amy's right. There's early voting starting in many states much earlier. So if you go to all into AITogether.org, we have a state-by-state -state voter guide, which is up to date, up to the minute, that helps voters figure out exactly how when and where they can cast their ballot in this election. That's really going to be everything. And in past years, we've focused so much on just to sort of get out the vote on November 3rd. We've got to look at a much more holistic approach to that and making sure people understand how to vote. It is going to be the most challenging, most difficult election of our lifetimes, just in terms of basic ballot access for Americans all across the country. And all of us need to be relentlessly focused on that. It is our democracy at stake in this election.